Oh, Ricky, it's time to unbox another month worth of comic box here. Oh, yeah. You're raising the roof for that, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Nice. Comic Boxer, for those of you who don't know, is a monthly comic book mystery box program. We fill this box, this plain looking white box, very discreet, no flashy colors. We don't pay extra for the boxes because we want to pack more value inside of it. By us not uh, going with a flashy, glossy box that will probably just end up in your recycling bin, we can pack an extra comic into here. So it's win-win for everybody. So we take five to seven of the best comic books from the month, we mix it up, we put in some variants, some signed editions, some exclusives. It runs the gamut. Anything, anything goes, basically, in Comic Boxer. But what we're trying to do is basically, number one, add some value to your collection. Number two, introduce you to new stories, new creators, new characters. Uh, so it's great for people that are already collecting and perfect for people who are just getting into collecting. Uh, wouldn't you say, Ricky? Yeah. <laughs> well said. Service. It's a good set. Well said, well said. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this box and see what was included in May's mystery box shipment. All right, so first off, we had Harrow County number one from Dark Horse, and this is uh, written by Cullen Bunn. It's a horror masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Very interesting artwork. And Ricky, did you know that Harrow County number one has already sold out and a second printing is in the works? I can believe it. The book is wicked. You read it? Yeah. Yeah. What did you like about it? I really like the art. I think the art was like what made the book not so great. not what you would traditionally see in a uh, a comic book periodical, yeah. was it? <laughs> no, but no. it's so good. It, very good. And Cullen Bunn, of course, is on a tear. Uh, you may know him from stuff like Magneto and. Um, the Deadpool Kills universe. Uh, he was fantastic with that. Next up on the list, Ricky, is one that I know a lot of people were excited about, introducing a new superhero team. It's A-Force number one. And I know you were excited about it because your main girl, <laughs> She-Hulk, she right. on the cover. It was a good issue. I really liked it. So, so this takes place uh, within the realm of Battleworld. Do you, do you uh, anticipate that the A-Force team might stick around after Secret War is all said and done? Maybe. I mean, like, the, the characters are all from different comics, so it might be hard to, like, keep them in and right. make, still make sense, but maybe. Sure, uh, but, I mean, they've done it before with stuff like Uncanny Avengers and yeah, that's uh, true. Uh, Uncanny X-Force and, you know, all kinds of other books. What's, uh, what's one more team in this <laughs> yeah. uh, convoluted comic world? <laughs> Uh, next, Ricky, we had a variant for, speaking of Secret Wars, Secret Wars issue number one. This was the amazing Spider-Man black suit action figure variant. Everybody knows that black suit Spidey was originally introduced as part of Marvel's original Secret Wars back in the 80s. And uh, the cover with him wearing the black suit is one of the most iconic covers in the modern era of comics, I think. Uh, so it's nice to see an action figure form of him represented here. And the action figure variants have been on fire. Um, it's crazy yeah. how, how popular so they've become. Popular. Next up, uh, one that I know I was really excited about and I know people uh, outside the world of comics were excited about it as well. It was Fight Club 2 issue number one. And this wasn't just any Fight Club 2 issue number one. This was the ultra rare Lee Buriemo variant. Uh, so it's a cover that wasn't readily available in stores. Uh, and if it was, uh, it was very hard to get a hold of. Uh, so this cover's been selling for like 10 to 15 bucks online now. Um, crazy, crazy increase in value. Uh, and Fight Club 2, number one, brought in a lot of fans when it was released uh, of Chuck Palahniuk, who is the writer of Fight Club, uh, the original, and this sequel. Uh, you know, it's, uh, he's, got, he's got a ton of, he's got a huge fan base. Not just because of the Fight Club movie, but because of his work in uh, novels and literature. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of people were really excited about that. And it is a sequel to the original movie. And it's written by Chuck Palahniuk. So, I mean, it's not like it's some crappy knockoff. Yeah. <laughs> so good. It's like, not It's not even like original story by yeah. Chuck yeah. Palahniuk and script in, by somebody yeah, else. Yeah, he's in like a bar and he just writes on a napkin and hands it to hands somebody. Hands it. Like, no, Here you he go. wrote this. Yeah. So definitely worth checking out. And Cameron Stewart on the art. Local choice, boy. Choice. Well, now he lives in Montreal, but close enough, right? Uh, so very, very interested in that title. And then finally today we had uh, something that I was so, so honored and privileged to put inside of uh, Comic Boxer. 
It was Dead Drop number one from Valiant Comics, uh, illustrated by Adam Gorham, story by Alish Cott. This was the Adam Gorham variant cover and signed by Adam Gorham, what? who did the cover and the interiors. Uh, Adam was nice enough to, to join us for, uh, for dinner one night and sign a bunch of these. Uh, after dinner was done and we got down to the business of signing things, all the wait staff at the restaurant all wanted a copy of the book as well. But you know what we said to them? To hell with you! These are for Comic Boxer customers. Yeah. And if you want this comic, you sign up to Comic Boxer. Yeah. We had like 45 sign-ups that night. Well, no, not yeah. really. But And then you were kicked out of the restaurant. Then we were kicked out. So, uh, yes, Dead Drop number one sold out. Again, this is another book that uh, you can see online going for about $10 or more. Uh, Valiant on a tear lately. They're just they're, like they're hitting all the right buttons. If there are buttons to be hit, <laughs> yeah. Valiant is hitting them. They've got a movie deal in the works uh, that is that is worth uh, millions and millions of dollars. Uh, they're going to be bringing their characters to the big screen, and stuff like this is reinvigorating the Valiant franchise. And we were uh, happy to include a signed copy in this month's box. So that's it. That's what was in Comic Box here in the month of. May, or the comics from the month of May. We've got a lot planned for comics coming out from the month of June. So if you're not a member of Comic Boxer yet, uh, please do sign up over at comicboxer.com. Plans start as low as $17.99 a month, plus shipping and handling. If you're in the Brampton area, uh, anywhere close to Stadium Comics, you can pick up your Comic Boxer here in store and save on the shipping and handling. If you are a member of Comic Boxer already, Thank you so much for being a part of it. Uh, we're growing bigger and bigger every day, and you're going to all love what we have planned for the month of June. So uh, definitely stay tuned, stay subscribed, and keep enjoying those comics that come every month to your door. All right, everybody, take care, and we'll see you next time when we unbox June's Comic Boxer Shipment. <laughs>